before I start this video, I just want to say one more disclaimer before I say anything. For the love of God, if you are uncomfortable with pedophilia, please get off this video right now. For context, I shared this in a Discord server, and even though that the same intro with the disclaimer was still there, people still got triggered about it and spammed me in DMs. So please, for the love of God, if you are triggered by any sort of mention of pedophilia, please not spam me in the comments because I do not care about it. So, Mr. Girl, around a year ago, Netflix announced a new movie, Cuties, and it got shit on hard. If you didn't know what Cuties is or what the movie's about, then this poster should show you everything you need to know about the movie. And as I said earlier, the movie got tons of backlash for being a garbage movie in general. A month later, the director of the film, whose name I'm not gonna try to fucking pronounce, made a video trying to rebuttal all the arguments made against her movie, and she tried to make the claim that it was good because the message is good. And if you didn't know, the message was to not sexualize children, but if you watched it or watched any videos on the subject, then you know that it did the exact opposite. And ever since that statement came out, everyone started using that as an excuse for their own movie review, saying it's good just because that the creator said it was good. And around this time, and now the video subject, which is what you're supposed to be, Mr. Girl, 11 months ago, made his infamous kiddos review. And it's safe to say that the backlash that he got was insane. It was so insane that first of all, his channel got terminated, and then second of all, it was more more worse than the movie itself. However, after he got terminated, people just started to forget about him. So I want to I went to research and explore what happened to him after he got terminated. After he got terminated, he made another account called Mr. Girl 2, and it will be making more information about Mr. Girl 2, however, it's literally just the same content on the different channel. He continued this type of content until he found his channel back after he got it unterminated. And even though he started making the same type of content, he started to take another approach with his content. He started making raps, which is how he got more bigger than he did, and which his music is to say, <clears throat> pretty fire. My words are like a zip tie with a plastic edge. It'll tie you to my bed. Whether you're right nine or ten. Prepubescent, toddler, infant, less baby pants, a dress. Fuck kids, the answers. Yes. Heterophobic. Nah, you're just heterophobic. Staring at my hard drive, my collection is growing. That's my motherfucking child porn. You better let go of it. It belongs in my folder. You'll never get hold of it. Hey. Like I said, pretty fire. And he surprisingly gained an actual couple followers. So he decided to keep doing this style of content with his usual controversial talk videos with his occasional songs. And he even rapped about Emily Dixon, which is wow. A short summary of this video will basically be after the controversy, he still didn't care and decided to keep making videos, occasionally getting a couple of followers from it. And now and now currently he makes fun of the situation he was in. And that's it. Here is a short video for you guys. I need content right now, so here it is. And yeah, I'll see you later.